I'm not gonna do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do. Flip out, man. I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out! No, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be cool. We're all gonna be like three little Fonzies here. And what's Fonzie like? What? Cool. Her Hello, welcome to the Black and Blue Collar Reader. If you're new here, my name is Dan. Today I'm going to be doing a slight twist on a booktube tag. You'll see a lot of people out there doing the mid-year freak-out tag. However, I got high blood pressure and I can't freak out about nothing no more. So what I'm doing is the mid-year chill-out tag. All right, everyone. Chill. Chill. And back by popular demand, I have my... Vanna White, my lovely wife, behind the camera, giving me all the questions for this booktube tag. So without any further ado, why don't we just get right on into it? And what is my first question, lovely wife? Best book you've read so far this year. The best book I've read so far this year, in my obviously subjective opinion, is going to be... R. Scott Baker's The White Luck Warrior. Thank you, Vanna, for making me turn it back upside down because, you know, I couldn't do this without her. So, <laughs> White Luck Warrior was just absolutely phenomenal book. I was fully invested in the characters in this slug that they were going on. There are two characters in this book that are just absolutely amazing Two of my favorite characters in all of fantasy. The first character is Cleric, and he is a non-man, and he is immortal, and he only remembers his pain. He gives these phenomenal sermons to everybody, and the character was just so perfect. I loved it. Also, the second character that I loved in this book was Kellis Anna Rimbor's kid that is locked up in a room because he's just that savage. His name was Inralatis. I love that character. His dialogue was some of the best dialogue I've read in any book ever. I loved everything he says. It was deep. It was thought-provoking. And I couldn't wait to get more from this character. One of the most intriguing character creations I have ever read in a story. So if you guys haven't read the Second Apocalypse or the Prince of Nothing series, go get it because this was my favorite book of this year. So what is the second prop? Best sequel you've read this year. Best sequel I read this year is gonna have to be Dead House Gates by Steven Erickson. What an amazing story. There were multiple characters that we were following, multiple plot lines going on, and they all just converged and came together so perfectly. I loved Felicin. The friendship between Mappo and Aquarium just hit me in the soul. This book's imagery was also absolutely mind-blowing. There are battle scenes with crows and butterflies that just still stick out in my head. So Dead House Gates is definitely the um, sequel, the best sequel that I have read this year. So what's the next prompt? New release you haven't read yet but want to. Okay, new release that I haven't read yet that I am dying to is if you have been on BookTube, you will definitely bump into this gentleman. His name is Philip Chase, and he has come out with actually two books in the last few months. The first book is The Way of Edan, and the second book is The Prophet of Edan. And I remember years ago when he said he was releasing a book, and then I remember the cover reveals of both books and realizing that... Um, um, Alan from Library of Alexandria is actually going to be the narrator of the audiobook. I just love all that context that we've gotten behind uh, this journey 
of Philip releasing this book. And I just can't wait to jump into both these books. So this is the book that, uh, <clears throat> that has been released that I'm just dying to get to as soon as humanly possible. So what is the next prompt? The most anticipated release of the second My most, half. Ah, uh, the second Wait half of the year. for me to finish. All right, go ahead. What is it? I don't know. Hold on. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Can I go now? Yes, please. All right, my most anticipated <laughs> release of the second half of the year has to be The War to End All by Michael R. Fletcher. I read... Beyond Redemption by him. I dropped a review. I love the characters, the story, the magic system in this book. The themes were just phenomenal. You can tell the author did his research when writing this book. I gave this book uh, five stars, I believe, and I actually jumped into the second book, Mirror's Truth, but it kind of got kicked to the back burner. The War to End All will be released September 8th or September 13th of this year. It is on pre-order on Amazon, so go get it. I don't know if this is going to be the cover, but hey, I don't care. I want to see how this series ends, and I can't wait to jump into the uh, the last book of the Manifest Delusion series. So, what is the next prompt? Biggest disappointment. My biggest disappointment is actually not going to be a book. It's actually going to be me. I'm the biggest disappointment. I get it. Dan, my wife gets it. You hear that? So, the biggest disappointment of the year was actually picking up Grace of Kings on audiobook. And it was not because the book was not good. It was a me issue. I could not get invested into the story via audio. This has, the story has a massive scope. There are multiple POVs with multiple things going on. And I just couldn't get follow along like I would like to. So I believe when I get this book in physical form and I can fully immerse myself and concentrate on what I am reading, I think this book is going to be phenomenal. But my biggest disappointment was Race of Kings on audio. My fault. Next prompt. Biggest surprise. My biggest surprise is going to be We Are the Dead by Mike Shackle. This book was absolute was an absolute banger. The characters were great, the storylines were great, the themes were excellent. Everything really came together perfectly in this book for me. I just loved this book. It was an engaging read. The characters were, were multi-dimensional and I loved the whole story about this, you know, about these people that are going through these tough times being ruled over by another, you know, another country. It was just a phenomenal read. So my biggest surprise was Mike Shackle we are the dead and i can't wait to get back into the next book but i can't because my wife stole my kindle my when am i getting my kindle back three to six months ish <sighs> happy wife happy life three to six months probably never probably never probably all right never. that's when i'm going to get into the next book Skippity Pat. Oh, Skippity Pat. Isn't that what you said about it? It's Skippity Pat. It, it, it did. It slapped. It slapped. It's Skippity Pat. That's what I said about We Are the Dead. So, what's my next prompt? <laughs> favorite new author. My favorite new author. If you can't tell by this, you know, Father's Day shirt that I bought myself, uh -huh. it's going to be Mr. Cormac McCarthy. Yes, I've only read one book recently by Cormac McCarthy. I did actually read uh, No Country for Old Men back in the day after the movie came out. I do recall there being no punctuation, no parentheses then. And I remember having a tough time with it, but finishing it. But I don't really remember too much about the experience uh, when I read that book. However, when I jumped into the Blood Meridian, man, this book wrecked me. 
This book I still think about today. The character study of of the ju of Judge Holden in this book is going to be one that I will be participating in for years and years to come. Uh, and it's so sad that we lost this author this year. Um, I definitely, I read a chapter of The Passenger. I went upstairs, I came down the next morning and found out that he had passed away. This is a big hit to the writing community. But I have already ordered five more McCarthy books that my wife doesn't know about. Mm -hmm. So, yes. She does now. Order canceled. She's going to change my Amazon password. But I got more coming. I can't wait to read more <laughs> McCarthy. Who's the next prompt? Oh, please, please, please tell me your newest fictional crush. Would ya? I'm dying. So if you guys can't see this, I knew this question was coming. This is why I am sweating. Okay? <laughs> because my wife... Wants to know my newest fictional crush. And I'm going to surprise some people. It is not going to be some fancy towel with, uh, you know, some junk in the trunk, you know. It is going to be a very plain woman, but a very badass woman. And that person is going to be Ike Mata from the Green Bone Saga. This woman is the pillar of the mountain clan. She is bad. She is witty. She is intelligent. When she walks into a room, everybody knows she, she's there. Everybody turns their head and, and bows and respects this woman. She took over the clan by killing half her family just to rise up to be the pillar. She is an awesome character and definitely my newest fictional crush, Ike Mata. From the Green Bone Saga. Next. Hmm. Newest favorite character. Newest favorite character has to be my man Krupp. Team Krupp right here. Krupp from the Malazan Book of the Fallen. We got him in um, Gardens of the Moon. I just... Loved his whole character then, and now I'm reading Memories of Ice, and guess who's back? Yup, my dude Krupp. He's funnier than ever, and he's swindling people right from the jump. I am a huge Krupp fan, and I will continue to be a Krupp fan throughout this whole series. So yes, <coughs> Krupp is my favorite new character this year. What's the next prompt we have? What that made you cry... Oh, so this is also a surprise book in my first... Hey, it didn't make me cry that much, bud. Okay, Daddy's okay. You don't have to hurt anybody. Daddy's okay. All right, so the book that made me cry is Empire of Silence, surprisingly. There is a scene in the beginning of this book that, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but it was just written so perfectly. It just punched me in the gut, and I just had to shed a tear. If you guys know what this scene is, please drop a comment down below. It's in the beginning of the book, you know, while we were doing some setup, but this scene was just immaculately written, and I just couldn't hold back the tears. So yes, Empire of Silence actually made me cry. What's the next prompt? Book that made you happy. Book that made me happy. So hey, I read a lot of dark shit on this channel, and it's always good, as a palate cleanser, to drop a little Terry Pratchett. So, in Men, of the, Men at Arms, do I, I got this good, all right, we're good. Men at Arms, right here, I was just so happy to see two characters come together and tie the knot and get married. If you know who those two characters are, you know who I'm talking about. I don't want to spoil anything, but yo... That was just heartwarming. That, and I love getting to know Carrot a little more. I love the themes in this book. They were just done so well. And I definitely realized the genius that is Terry Pratchett after reading this book. So this one is the book that made me happy. Men at Arms by Terry Pratchett. What's the next prompt that we have? 
most beautiful book you've bought or received? I'm going to do both. One that I bought and I did receive. The most beautiful book I bought this year, as you know, I'm a McCarthy fan now. I'm going to get into The Passenger, but this is just gorgeous with the spines connecting. I just love this duology right here from The Passenger. So this is actually the most beautiful set of books that I bought this year. However, I was sent a book by Evie. If you don't know her channel, her channel's called She Was Only Evie. And if you know her channel, then you know what book I got. It was the, the Spear That Cuts Through Water. And this is the most beautiful book that I own as of today. I mean, just look at this cover. It's gorgeous, and it doesn't stop there. Where do you see this? Ready? You ready? Oh, yes. That is art, my friends. This is an absolute beautiful book. I felt so honored that Evie sent it to me. Evie, thank you from the bottom of my heart for this book. I can't wait to jump into it. It is on my TBR for July. So, hey, Spear That Cuts Through Water and The Passenger Set are the two most purdy books that I bought this year. What's the next prop, babe? What book do you need to finish this year? The book that I need to finish is going to be Wistful Ascending by J.C.M. Byrne. This author reached out to me and offered to send me a book to drop a review on his book. And I was just so honored. He sent me this book. I didn't think anybody would ever reach out to me to review a book. I was just flabbergasted, to tell you the truth. Joe hit me up and said, I would love for you to review my book. How can I get it to you? I asked for the hardcover, like the asshole I am. But this was the first author that sent me a book, and I wanted the hardcover to remember it. I can't wait to jump into Wistful Ascending by J.C.M. Byrne. It is actually on my to-do list next month where I will read all the books that people have sent me throughout the year. So yes, Wistful Ascending, J.C.M. Byrne, the book that I need to read before the end of the year. What's the next one, babe? Favorite video. My said. favorite video. Favorite. Well, listen. I this is I'm actually 6 months on YouTube now. Um, I celebrate yeah. half a year on YouTube. Yes, thank you very much, Pat, Pat, Pat. You know, I, I'm, I, it's a work in progress. Now, one of the videos that I am truly proud of was actually the uh, Dead House Gates video. I felt like I really had good structure. And I, it was cohesive. And, and I felt like, you know, I just provided an excellent review of that book. And that is something that I am working on. And I really took pride in that video. However, my favorite video that I made this year was my favorite things tag with my wife. That is because it was a bonding experience. I loved dragging her into my world and how I do these videos. And we had to do like seven takes to get it right. And it was just so much fun. I loved re-watching it with her. She absolutely hates it but i just loved it i have had such a good time doing that video with my wife that and because of that video my wife actually picked up reading again like i told you she stole my kindle my. that is her kindle now my. and she read we are the dead by mike shackle and she is now on the third book of that series so that video just meant a lot to me that would be my favorite video, Aww. my favorite things tag with my lovely wife. So sweet. I know. I love you too. I love you too. I know. I know how to know how to work it. No giggity. <laughs> anyway, I am finished with this oh review. I appreciate it if you stuck around for this entire video. Like I always tell you folks, hey, let's keep growing to be better people. Let's keep growing to be better readers. And I will see you guys on that flip side. Peace. Peace.